So of course you can use Vox Commando to do voice over IP calls as well. And you can use any service that you can set up on your computer. I'm going to demonstrate using Skype. I've also set it up um, with XFi. You can use it to attach to any SIP uh, service that you want, such as Call Centric. Um, I'll show you my. I have these, these three Skype contacts set up for now. I haven't put more in because I don't want to show everyone all my Skype contacts. <laughs> and um, so I've got the test call, and I've got uh, my iPod, which is on the camera. Uh, you should be able to see the little thumbnail of the camera there. And uh, another one that called not a person, who I'm assuming is not a person. I don't actually know. Um, I just searched for not a person on Skype, and that's what I found. And I'll show you quickly here. This is the XML where we enter our um, payloads for um, different Skype numbers in our contact list. So this is the ID that the Skype ID that it will call. And these are the phrases that you can say separated by commas. So I could say Skype Jitter James and it'll call this ID. Or I can say Skype James Richards and it'll call this ID. Uh, again here to do to do the test call I can say Skype test call and it'll call Echo123 which is the ID that Skype has assigned for their test calls. So uh, I'll start Vox and I'll show you. Skype Jitter James. Skype James Richards. Ignore me. Uh, so you'll see it's ringing over here on my iPod. I can answer it. Skype, hang up. Computer, Skype, hang up. Ignore me. Um, and we've got not a person, right? So, here, I'll show you. What have we got? We could say nobody, not a person, or no one. Computer, Skype, nobody. Skype not a person. Skype no one. Ignore me. So those all worked, by the way. It just failed because that person is not online. And that is using Vox Commando for voice over IP.